So this is for the pleasers amongst us. How does it serve you to please? If your pleasers stick around, I have something really like mind blowing for you. Hello, 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 beautiful soul. Welcome at Wednesday We. So, yeah, you are a pleaser, right? Well, one, there's nothing bad with being a pleaser. It's a survival mechanism. It is protecting something inside of you that really needs to be protected. So go ahead and change around your convictions and judgments on yourself about pleasing behavior. That's number one. But number two, it serves you to please people. Now, I know that the first things that are coming up in your mind when I say that, those are the negative things. Well, it doesn't serve me in, in any way. And there's always these people complaining about me. And I'm always doing my best and I'm losing myself and I'm pleasing. And there's this and that and that and that. And all that is true. In your mind, all of that is true. But if pleasing would not serve you, you would not continue doing it, my darling. You would not. You would have adapted a different survival strategy if pleasing was not working for you. So go and find in which way pleasing serves you. And this means you have to go a little bit inside. Because this strategy of pleasing pleasing other people you have learned when you were a young lady or you were a young man and at that moment you were very aware of you using certain kind of behavior was helping to be seen to be accepted to be loved so it was serving and you continued using that behavior to be seen, accepted, and loved. At this moment, the effect of your behavior of pleasing people may not have, or the effect of, of that behavior may not be that you're being seen, accepted, and loved. It may not feel that you are being seen, accepted and loved, but at some point it was. So I want you to go back to this moment in which you started using that mechanism, whichever mechanism it is that you are having, but in this case we are talking about pleasing. We go back to that moment when you started implementing that and for which reason you did. And what you will find underneath is probably something painful. You wanted to protect yourself from something painful. And that painful something certainly had to do with not feeling loved, not feeling accepted, not feeling seen or heard. And acting in the pleasing way changed that around. So you being a pleaser nowadays comes from a moment in the past where the behavior was being nurtured. So you continued using that behavior until it became a habit. Now that's the first thing, that's the first like investigation to do with yourself. You don't have to do that by yourself. You don't have to do it all alone. You can always reach out for Ho'oponopono sessions. 
but that's the first thing like okay go back into history and see when you started that pleasing behavior see what it is covering and then love yourself for using that that strategy when you have uncovered why you've started uh, pleasing and what was like what it is protecting still now you have opened up yourself for a really raw truth and what that raw truth needs is love so start loving yourself start loving if it's difficult to love yourself as an entirety love the fact that you're using pleasing behavior love yourself for the strategy of pleasing for and using that behavior of pleasing to get something that you really need and that is being accepted being loved being seen so when you can start loving that strategy that you're using the pleasing strategy then you can start loving also that that raw thing that you have uncovered in your journey of finding oh but why am i really using this strategy how how did it start and what is it protecting because with you knowing what you are protecting with your pleasing behavior you are allowing yourself to change it but to be able to change it you first have to start loving one your pleasing behavior and second what you are protecting with your pleasing behavior because if you are putting all your judgments on your pleasing behavior and on what you're protecting hell no you are going to change it because with you judging yourself for what you're trying to protect inside you are stacking up all kind of negativity around it and with that you are drifting further and further from what it is that you're trying to heal so don't do that please don't do that dig if you can you don't have to do it by yourself you are the one that has to do it but you don't have to do it alone you can do it with someone reach out for hope on upon a sessions and then when you're digging find what it is protecting and you may not reach that at once it may reveal itself bit by bit layer by layer love every layer love the protection mechanism love the part that needs to be protected love the child that you once were it all starts with love it starts with love because from love comes acceptance for who you are at this moment and if you feel that you are not able to love because you're so hurt and i imagine that this can be the case for some of you then just imagine that there's love in the air like we would say in springtime love is in the air there's love in the air when you breathe it in you're bringing it to that part that needs that healing that needs that love i know you can do this i know it's not the easy way i know it feels completely counterintuitive it feels as doing everything the like upside down the other way around but this is a way that works 
much better than rationalizing it and like having all this like because rationalizing is also survival system like pleasing is it will not help you to get to your heart so go find your way to your heart we need you we need you to be you we need you to shine your light we need you to be like unapologetic is that the word yeah <laughs> we need you to like the world needs you you have come to this world for a reason it's time to start living that reason i know you can do this i'm proud of you for all the things that you are looking into the eye and changing. Love you. Take good care. Safe journey. Bye bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, beautiful soul. If there's anything I want you to take from these videos, then it is the permission for you to shine your light. It's the most important thing. So go ahead, shine your light. I love you. Bye-bye.